God bless this morning. Yes. God be good to you. Yes. Appreciate the merciful goodness, the grace, the kindness of God who has indeed blessed us. Is, 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 is he hyped up this morning? Yes. Natalie must be his. Where's Natalie? Stand up here. There you are. Good to have you home, yes. sweetheart. Good to have you. safely here to Indianapolis and we're good to have them here. Keep them in prayer as they begin the process of transitioning uh, to be here with us. Uh, he's more hyped up than he was last week. <laughs> what you did to that boy? Amen. <laughs> so good to have you guys here back with us. I appreciate so much your presence and we want to begin with a word of prayer. Uh, get a, a contact the sister. Anita was not, uh, was actually put in the hospital uh, but that forget. I uh, pray for her. And also, with others who are facing illnesses, uh, we know that um, uh, Sister Vera Fitzgerald is also battling some illnesses as well. We pray on her behalf as well. It's a very difficult time. And others who have uh, family members that are sick or, or in the hospital or are dealing with illnesses, let's go to God. And for those who may have had a loss in their family who we're not even aware of at this present time. Let's, let's pray to God go together. Most loving, merciful, and gracious, and kind God. It is into your presence we humbly come. Being aware, we have no right to step in front of your presence, but only because you love us and have chosen to adopt us can we do this. We pray, first of all, Father, on behalf of those who have had a loss in their family. Recent losses, <coughs> even losses of the last few years that they're still trying to recover from. But Don mentioned at our 730 service uh, of a more recently in this family for Sister Linda and, and the many fathers who are still struggling with the loss of loved ones. We ask you to touch them, give them strength and give them peace. We pray a special prayer on behalf of Sister Anita who is uh, uh, sick this morning. Pray for her recovery. Uh, a very special prayer on behalf of Sister Vera Fitzgerald. Uh, Lord, we ask you to give her strength and give her peace. We ask you to work through the doctors, to give them insight. First, we ask you, Father, to work independent of that and to bring about a healing inside of her body that's just because it's from you. But Father, if you choose to, we ask you to work through the physicians to give them insight on what to do, that they might be successful at helping her and the family to deal with this moment of life. Give her strength, give her peace, and give her family what they need to press forward from the present stress of the moment right now. Always being fully assured of your love and your care and your kindness. Thank you, Father, for this family's gift to your church as a whole. Thank you, Father, for being Brother Terrain, for the success of his surgery, that he is on the path to recovery from a similar kind of, of, of challenge, Father. We just thank you for your consistent blessings and your prayers, your kindness that you give us, with that you love us and hold us. Once again, Father, for the young lady who's in our 730 service who's battling through abuse, we ask you to give her strength and peace. And others, Father, who we know are trying to find a way to get a grip on their lives in the midst of the challenges that life can bring. We ask you to keep us into mold. This is a merciful, a gracious, and a kind and loving name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. Y'all blessed this morning? Yes. I know that you're appreciating the kindness of God. If you're feeling blessed, go ahead and stand. Get your mouth ready for a big old smile. Y'all ready? Yes. Look at somebody next to you. Give them a hug. Say, God bless you. Good to have you here this morning. We'll preach about it. What's up, man?
Amen, amen. Are y'all ready for the word this morning? 